Hi, and welcome to another edition of Business Bites from Bauer Media. My name is David Tai, the Managing Director of Bauer Media here in Northern Ireland. And each week we delve into the world of business. This week, it's a great subject. I love talking property, and I know that people who watch this uh, are very interested in this subject. And it's my pleasure to welcome John Minnis, who's the owner uh, of John Minnis Estate Agents Limited to the show this week. John, welcome to Business Bites. Good morning, David. Thank you for having me. I'm, no I'm problem. Interested well, to hear your questions. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to get straight into it. We uh, we have ten minutes, and we like to get straight into the, the the details. So, tell us a little bit about your your company. Tell us a little bit about the history and and how you got to uh, where you are today. Okay, John Minister State Agents. We opened um, the first branch in Hollywood. The branch I speak to you from today. Uh, um, Oh, 18 years ago, 4th of July, 2005. Um, we, 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 from then, we added four more branches. So we have uh, five branches at the moment uh, uh, covering uh, most of the province, I would have to say, uh, um, with uh, our branches uh, strategically placed in Hollywood, Belfast, uh, uh, Cumber, Donahadi and our latest branch in Bangor, which we opened last year. Great, great. So going from strength to strength. Um, let's talk about the property market. Let's talk about houses because it always raises a lot of interest. Uh, people always like to follow the uh, housing market uh, closely. I'm sure you get asked every day of the week what's going on. Um, so I think let's just take a step back. Let's talk about this part of the world in general, first of all. So it, how, how is this, what is this market like here? Because it seems to be different from the rest of uh, certainly across the water, it seems to be a little bit different. So what do you see the differences in the Northern Ireland housing market? Yeah, David, you're, you're, you're right. And uh, you're right about it being a hot topic of conversation. Here in Northern Ireland, there are only seem to be two topics of conversation, one being the weather and one being the price of houses. So uh, we're, we're fairly well versed in answering these uh, uh, these questions. And Northern Ireland does behave really quite differently from other regions within the UK. That has uh, been the case, and certainly in my experience over 25 years, it's, it's always been the case that we behave slightly differently. Correct in saying that we are probably the, the most value for money cheapest region within the UK to, to buy property. Now, that's still the case. Many of us here might not believe that Northern Ireland is the best value for money case in the UK. And it, it, it is. And it, it's shown to be very resilient. And it's, it's certainly a very, very attractive place to, uh, to live and to bring up a family. Now, that secret is out of the bag from the lockdown in 2020 that uh, really opened up the world of uh, working remotely. That in turn allowed an awful lot of our uh, folk who had left Northern Ireland for uh, greener pastures uh, right across the world and uh, particularly in England and allowed those people to think about coming back. So we've, over the course of the last two and a half years, we've sold property to folk returning from America, Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore, anywhere and everywhere that you can think of, a lot from Europe, but a, a, a constant stream and uh, a large volume of traffic is returning from England. That has actually progressed on quite a bit where people are not only returning from England, but English families choosing to up sticks, relocate and live here in Northern Ireland. There are three main factors. The motivating factor is the world-class education system that uh, is available here in Northern Ireland that is effectively free or very close to it. The other main point would be the price of property. And the third thing, and very importantly, is the lifestyle that uh, maybe take for granted here in Northern Ireland. You know, we have seashores, the Belfast Locks, Dryford Locks, 
Loch Ney, the North Coast, the Mountains of Morn, uh, um, the Sparrows. You, you know, we, we can do all these things in one day. Uh, um, so we have, we have a great outdoors lifestyle. Uh, and not having to be 20 minutes from the office anymore allows uh, our, our local residents to decide where they want to live. Uh, um, uh, and there's been a lot of movement to uh, coastal environments as well as uh, yeah. uh, more sort of uh, uh, rural environments as well. People are moving with their interests in mind rather than how close is it to the office. Amazing story. Um, you should if, if if it goes wrong with the estate agents, you should take up a post in tourism NI because you're selling the benefits very very well <laughs> there. Um, but uh, I'm sure it won't go wrong. Um, so looking at the business of estate agency and and selling properties, um, how's how do you see that business has changed? Because it must have changed over the lockdown. There must be differences now uh, post the last few years than than previous. What changes have you seen in in, in your business? Yeah, the lockdown was really interesting and uh, quite quite challenging in, in, in many ways, uh, but it allowed us to change how we do certain things. We we find some of these alterations to be a break from the norm and uh, quite difficult in the first instance. And then we realised how efficient these changes had made uh, uh, ourselves and our business and how they'd streamlined things. You know, viewing, for, for example, after the, the lockdown period when we were allowed back to work, uh, um, there was a huge interest in uh, all things property. You know, people realised that uh, they needed more uh, space, they needed more garden space, they needed, they wanted to move uh, um, because they didn't need to be close to the office and they could uh, pursue. And we had an, an enormous amount of interest and enormous amount of viewings in our properties. Um, at that particular time, you, you could only have two people in the property with the agent at any given time. So we gave them 15 minutes slots. Now that, in, in the most part, we have uh, we have continued with. Just mean people turn up and people are there and uh, we, 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 we get through the, uh, the business in a much more streamlined fashion. Yeah, yeah. And what about the future? What about the uh, if, if people were looking at buying a property? I know it's a crystal ball time, but uh, when is the right time? And someone would say, well, now, any time is the right time. So how do you see the market here for mm -hmm. residential property going in the next, say, two to two to three years for people that might be looking at changing? And uh, David, that is an interesting question. Uh, despite 25 years experience in this market, I'm not sure that I could forecast three years into the future. Uh, uh, three months into the future is a, a, a little tricky at the minute. But Northern Ireland differs, as I say, from the rest of the UK and really quite different now, where at any given time within Northern Ireland, we have a set number of properties on the market. Now, that used to be until lockdown, really, there was only our local residents buying and selling. So if you imagine it like a game of musical chairs, uh, um, all of a sudden, the people playing this game of musical chairs, uh, people moving from uh, all around the world into Northern Ireland, people moving from England into Northern Ireland, or local people moving, uh, um, people coming from... Uh, uh, down south uh, and lots of investment from all these regions. The, we have the same number of chairs, a much bigger audience, uh, and uh, that has bolstered the prices in Northern Ireland. We have, we have, we've seen interest rate rises. Uh, um, that hasn't changed things terrible lot. That's maybe slowed down the, uh, the, 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 the increase in, in prices, but uh, in, in most areas we we have risen 2.7 percent last year according to the latest Halifax survey and uh, um, that's the only region within the UK that has had an increase I suspect that over the course of the next 12 months that uh, we, we we won't see a decrease but we'll plateau out as far as the prices are concerned so uh, uh, yeah that that's probably as far as I can forecast at the moment that's fine I'm sure you've been asked that question a few times um, and I think 
uh, John, we will have to draw it to a close. We're almost out of time. But uh, can I just take this opportunity to wish you and the whole team at John Minnis Estate Agents the very, very best uh, for the rest of the year and beyond. And uh, and I suppose it's um, it's the case of supply and demand. It's the old economic case of um, supply and demand. There's been a lot, of, lot more demand, but we still have the same amount of, as you said, supply. Of, of, yeah, of supply. yeah, supply and demand is maybe a, a, a better way of putting it. There, there's uh, the same level of supply and greater demand. We're a member of the Guild of Property Professionals. The Guild chose us to represent them here in Northern Ireland across our regions. The English market find our property straight away. That is gold to our clients at the moment. Um, that extra interest in the property, that extra demand from the property secures the highest price. So it's, it's, it's a very interesting marketplace, most interesting time I remember over the course of the last 25 years. And it's a good time. I went to school in the centre of Belfast. People were leaving this country, find employment and greener pastures and pursue careers. And now... Uh, people aren't leaving as much and people are returning and uh, uh, English people are uh, uh, upping sticks, moving here, bringing up their children in Northern Ireland. I mean, it's an amazing turn of the tables. So I, I'm, I'm just delighted and very proud to be uh, 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 selling property in this part of the world. Well, John, uh, we'll leave it at that, but thank you so much for sharing your insight with us this week. We appreciate it. And as I said, uh, thanks, uh, John Minnis from John Minnis Estate Agents for being our guest this week on Business Bites. Thanks, David.